Teridiary, Egyptian tale, the gold in the grid. Chapter one, the perfect plot, the eve of the ruby. The water clock dripped. It was the second hour of the afternoon, and time to go, time to carry out the greatest ruby in the history of the world. There were four of us in the room, four gay robbers, and we had the perfect plot. They had been bringing king in in Egypt for thousands of years, buying them with gold and jewels to spend in the. After life, and people had been robbing those king for thousands of years to spend the fortunes in this life. Kings were bearing in pyramids to guard their gold. It didn't work. No one used pyramid. Any more, they were too easy to roll. Now the kings were burned in tombs deep in the rocky cliffs near the birds. There was only one way in, and that was guarded. Dali, Dalia. Was the temple jeweler who made ornament of for King Tutankhamen's tomb? Anef was the master thief, the greatest top robber in the world. I have saved a lot of money," he said. "Now I am going to risk it all to win the biggest prize of all, and you are going to help me." He clucked and showed his black and yellow string to of tea. Of last, that was the idea. If we could. If we could rob the tomb of King Tutankhamen, then we would be rich as king. If we failed, then our punishment would be horrible. So horrible it gave me nightmares. Big carpets would be one of the coffin. Carriers of the sunset furniture of Tutankhamen. Tutankhamen had been dead for seventy days. They spent in turning his holy body into a mummy. From the first day of the king's death, Anev. Had been plotting the perfect plot. For Kerpes told me, if they catch you, they will cut off your nose. He rubbed his one flat broken nose. If you are lucky, and if I am unlucky, he I ask, then the new king. I will have you cruelly nailed to the wall of the bad city. He will show the wood what happens to gay robbers. I don't want to be nailed to the wall. Care. Purpose, I whispered. 
Then don't get cough. He grinned. Me, I am panic. In those days, I was the poor son of a terrible owner. I wasn't very clever, and I wasn't very brave. But I was very, very skinny, and then that's why they wanted me. Seventy days ago, and I had come to me in my father's ter- tavern, where I was carrying pot. He knew I was a thief. I would steal anything from washing on the river bank, where it was stretched out to the dry, to food in the temple lit out of the god. The plan is simple, but brilliant. He told me. The king's tomb is waiting for him in an underground cave across the river. He will be buried there with his fortune in seventy days' time. And guarded, I said, we can't get in. We gave his gap to green again. We don't have to. We just have to get out. Huh? The king will be placed in the tomb, and then the door will be sealed. But you will already be in there, on the inside, hiding. He said, "We'll slip you in before the fortune. I shouldn't. I will be trapped in the tomb in the dark with the dead king and all the spirit. The door is a huge slab of stone. I won't be able ab- ab- to break out. I'll die." He shook his head. I have friends in the stone quarry. They have made the door. One corner has been cracked out, and uh, cracked and put back with weak mortar. You can't see the field unless you know it is there. We. You smash open the corner and pass out the king's fortune. It was a clever plan. How do I get? You go to the scribe school by the temple. The scribe master is a friend of mine. He will train you as a scribe, and you will be sent into the tomb to pay. <coughs> Paint the players on the walls. The guards will get used to seeing you. He promised. So after the procedure, I have to pass the treasure out of the corner of the door. You will be waiting in the passage. I ask. Yes, but the passage. Will be guarded. I agree. If you can't get down to the door, I will be trapped alone. I have used most of my money to pay the guards. He said they will look the or another way, and you will not be alone. Drafa will be with you. I looked at the girl who said 
screaming, catching a bird. She was dressed as a prince. My partner is crying.